democracy. If you don't get a majority of Scottish seats in this election, will you accept that means it's the will of the Scottish people that they don't want to have another independence referendum? Well, I'm not going to prejudge the outcome of the election, which is just in about uh, 12 days' time. Hang on, what you I can't have it both sure ways. You're saying if you have a majority, you Scotland, would do this, but if you don't have a majority, then not answer that part of the question. So if you don't have a majority, will you accept well, that that I, is the Scottish well, electorate telling you they don't want to pursue independence right now? The Scottish Parliament voted, was elected in 2021 with a majority of members for a five-year term committed to the delivery of a referendum on independence and to delivering Scottish independence if that was supported in the referendum. I think that democratic mandate from the people of Scotland, clearly given, has got to be delivered. And I think it's, this election is an opportunity for us to advance those arguments. But it's crystal clear that people in Scotland have expressed a preference to determine their own constitutional future. And I think Westminster should, should remove the obstacles that are stopping Scotland from having that choice. But that was in 2021. There is about to be a big vote in 2024. If you lose support at this general election, do you accept that will mean that you are losing support for independence? That is surely the simple democratic logic. Well, the democratic logic is that the people of Scotland have had their democratic will thwarted since 2021. And I invite people in Scotland in this election on a week on Thursday to make sure that they exercise their view and their voice to make sure we have that strongest demonstration possible of the support that is necessary to deliver Scottish independence.